What's up guys, my name's Cookie Kaza and today I'm going to teach you how to play the near light event. What do you mean I look different? This is how I've always been. That's a lie. I'm the real Cookie Kaze and I am going to be the one to teach you guys how to play Near Light for today. Let's go through all of the user interface, explaining every little button that you find during this event. So, welcome to the event of Near Light. I'll start off by explaining some of the simpler stuff first, and then once we get that out of the way, we can then explain more in detail to the harder things to understand. So, you guys would probably be familiar by now that this is where the event stages are. This is where you can play NL1 all the way to NL10. Then we can't play EX stages for now. As it states over here, it opens on the 5th of May at the 16th hour, but this is at a certain time zone. Uh, if you guys want a, another screen to show you guys what time is it at your place, I'm showing it right now on the screen yet again. Okay, so these two buttons are settled. I'm not going to click on City Neon first. I'll explain that later. This is where you can see your medal set. So there's quite a bit of medals to get in the event. For those of you who are wondering where's the trim medal, it's right over here under this one, where it states that during the Near Light event, raise your prestige of all three major factions to respect it. So what is this prestige thing? That's what we're going to look at in a bit. So let me exit out of this medal system. We're back in the event. So. This event store is right over here under trade exhibition so you can buy a whole bunch of materials over here and if you are still not aware the event stages are open for three weeks long so you are able to get a lot of good stuff uh, within the event store and for those of you who are wondering what stages you're supposed to farm uh, the best farming stages will definitely be nl8 9 and 10 to get all of these tier 3 materials that you want if you're a new player who just started the game and you are unable to clear these three stages Feel free to just play the earlier stages, they still do give you a good amount of materials as well. And then you can use these materials to beef up some of your operators, uh, maybe those that's at Elite 0 all the way to Elite 1, and then give them the skill ranks that they need also. Right? So that's that for the farming stages, and we've explained the store. Now let's look at the prestige that I was talking about. So the prestige thing is right over here, and there's two factions that we can see. So if you're someone who doesn't read the story, you may not be too aware as to what's going on, but basically these two factions are kind of like at war with each other. So what you're gonna have to do in this event is that you need to try to get your prestige or your reputation to be up all the way to the maximum level for both factions, along with one more. As you can see, it says here unknown, no info, because this is only gonna appear on the 12th of May. But afterwards, you're gonna see three factions appearing. You want all of their prestige to go all the way up to the maximum, to reach this level of respected. So right now for me in my account, it's currently at neutral and then afterwards the next one I can go to is friendly, admired and respected. Now, how do you get these prestige points then? As you see, we need a total of 50 prestige points for each of the faction. If you reach a certain stage of prestige, so right now I'm at neutral, if I go to friendly, you can see that I'm unlocking more stuff here. So I got the hibiscus diary, there's some voice uh, line, so this is like a news bulletin board. And then after there's more stuff here, there's some general chamber ID card at Prestige 40. And same thing here as well, there's also a file manager's key at Prestige 40. So, we see the rewards, but how do we get them? That's what I need to explain to you guys. So, let's go to the race prestige part. So this is a screen that you can find. I'm gonna show you how you can get to that. So you click over there on the your desk part. Now before I explain the daily task, it's a little simpler to explain the long-term goals. So I'll click on this first. And you can see there are missions for the two factions. There's missions for the Kazimierz one, and then there's missions for the KGCC. Now, if you're wondering what are the missions, you can click on view all task. It will show you everything. So this one is stating to clear from NL1 all the way to NL10. And I've already gotten all the rewards. Now, per mission that you complete here, you'll get one prestige. So this is again for the Kazimierz faction. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven prestige just from doing all of these missions. And then in the week later, there's going to be the EX stages. So I'll be able to get even more prestige from here. And then same thing over here. I have not completed any of the missions, but this will give me three prestige, one each. And then if you go to the KGCC side, you can see this is also from MNL1 all the way to NL10. And then next week, there's going to be the EX1 to EX8. And then I'll be able to unlock the prestige as accordingly. Over here as well, there's also three missions. So I've completed the first one that says clear event stages. I think it was 20 times. And then there's still 45 times and 85 times to go. So one prestige each. So per mission that you complete in the long-term goal, 
you'll get the reward as it states and you also get one prestige for that faction. So by completing all of my uh, long-term goals, I've already managed to raise up the prestige of these factions. So I think this one is currently at 10, I think. No, this is at 11. And then this is currently at 10. So it's good enough stuff. If you're wondering how to read the numbers here, every bar is 10 prestige. And then afterwards, if you go to the next bar, for example, this is at 0, 10, it means that I'm on the second bar and I'm at 0 out of 10 on the second bar. So I've, I've got a total of 10 here and I've got a total of 11 here. Right? That's how you read that. So, we've understood the long-term goals. If you guys are wondering how much prestige the long-term goals will give, I'm showing the numbers on the screen right now, including for the last faction as well. Now, you won't be able to hit 50 prestige just with long-term goals alone. So, you're going to need a daily task to help you as well. How does the daily task work? Now, you see over here, there's the agenda proposals. Every day, you get three agenda proposals. But if you don't use the agenda proposals within a day, you don't have to worry all that much because they will carry it forward to the next day. So as you see, I did not spend my three agenda proposals yesterday, so it managed to carry into today. The maximum amount of agenda proposals you can hold is 15. So if you happen to have a day where you don't play the event, you're going to be okay. The maximum number of days you can skip is probably 5, since that's 3 times 5. Now what can you do with the daily tasks over here? Let's click on this and you're gonna see this little screen right here. So these are like personal missions that you can click on to choose which one you want to complete. And you can see that there's a variety of materials that you can get as well. So some people might be wondering, Cookie, what material should I be choosing? That choice should be on you. You decide what materials you want to get. I think that's the joy of this event, the fact that you can choose the materials you want, choose the materials that you specifically need within your account. But if you're like me, I'll go for the materials that I feel are very hard to get in the game. Which for example, I really want the pink crystals and I also want that blue color material. Now, there's six missions that I can choose from here, but let's say it doesn't have the materials that I want. So, what could I do to get the missions that I want to see appearing? I can click on search again. So every day, you'll get a search refresh chance. So I've accumulated it because I did not use it in the first day. Let's click on search again. And you can see that you can choose which faction you want. Before I use this search system, let me explain the idea of choosing the factions. As you can see here, this is for the KGCC and this is for the Adapters Kazimir's faction. If you choose any mission that's for the KGCC and you complete that mission, you'll get the prestige as it writes here. So this is plus one. And then if you see here, this is for the Adapters one, this is plus one. So you kind of want to balance the number of missions that you perform for each faction so that you can crop them all out to the 50 prestige that you're aiming for. So don't go focus fire all your missions into like one faction because it doesn't help. You want to get everybody to the respected level. You try to look at the prestige level of all the factions and then make sure that they all hit 50 at the same time. The last faction daily missions are not available yet. They will be open only on the last week of the event. So for now, there's only two factions you can choose and also take note of the number of agenda proposals it takes. So this one takes one proposal as you see here. But this one over here, it takes two proposals and the number of prestige is double as well and the material is also double. So it's pretty handy since you can complete the missions much faster if you choose those two ones. Now, let's do some refresh. So let's put this example that I don't care about the faction and all I want is this material. Like I want this blue material. So let's do a search and let's see if they spawn me those missions. Uh, searching again will clear and override. Yeah, it's fine. Let's override them. And then they're doing the search. Wow, look at that. I can get all the blue materials I want. Oh my goodness. It makes me so happy to see that. Are there two missions? Yes, there's two. So this will help me to clear it faster. You can imagine that those that spend two agenda proposals, they will probably be much harder missions. As you see here, this says clear NL10 while not allowing Blood Knight to absorb any of the Blood Blades, which is kind of tough actually. So I'm going to accept this task and then it will give it to me. Now, do note that if let's say you don't think you can complete the task, you can reject the mission and it will refund the agenda proposals for you. But for that day, you cannot play the same mission again. So take note of that when you're trying to clear all of these stuff. You can accept three missions in a day. If you complete this one, it will just free up the slot. So there isn't a limit like only three missions can be done. You can do as many as you want within a day. So like, I can accept a new task. It will maintain whatever that's been searched. So let me see, is there another tool choice? No, there isn't. 
So I simply have to choose which one that I want. So for example, okay, this one's not too bad. It's also NL10. I'll take that. And then I'll accept one more task, which is for NL9. See, so simple, simple stuff. And this one says check inventory. Oh, this is showing you all the other quests that you can choose from. So just like that, I've chosen two Adeptus missions and I've chosen one KGCC mission. And if I clear them off, I'll be able to get three prestige for the Adeptus and one prestige for the KGCC. Again, perform this sort of balancing act, you're trying to make sure that both factions hit 50 at the same time. Alright, so now you guys get the idea and how this mission can be very useful for you to get the materials that you guys want. Okay, I'll be leaving this menu now. Let's go to this particular button over here, which is the info port. So, when you hit a certain prestige and clear a certain stage in the game, you'll be rewarded with these good stuff over here. So, as you see, this one is giving like a news bulletin board, and this is also giving a news bulletin board. So if you want to go ahead and give it a try, you can click on this. Uh, I can't play the music here, but if you're using it on your phone or your PC, you'll note that this shows you all the songs that you can unlock. So this depends on the stages that you have cleared. Then afterwards, this one is showing you all the CG art that is within the game, which is especially beautiful. I love them so, so much, right? It's so pretty to see all these beautiful drawings that they have done. I think there's one for Gravel, actually. Which one is the one for Gravel? Yeah, look at that. Oh, hot operator right there. So you can see that. And then afterwards, you can see the storyline as well. So these are all for the news bulletin regarding this particular event. And there's that. And then later on, you are able to unlock some of the secret stories as well. By the way, Near Light has the most number of words out of all the events and story stages. Like, Chapter 9 was in the lead for the longest story ever in the game. And then Near Light comes in, and if I'm not wrong, it has like 60,000 words more than Chapter 9. Which goes to say how huge of an event this is. So for those of you who like lore reading, I think you can enjoy this event to the fullest. The last thing that I want to show you guys is this one that I've missed out on, which is the City Neon. So as you see over here, you need a General Chamber ID card. In order to get it, you need the Prestige to go up, I believe all the way to Admired, which you need to reach 40 Prestige on the left side, 40 Prestige on the right side. And then this one that you see over here, it says that this will only unlock on the 12th of May, which is the last week of the event. So once you are able to get the Prestige to be enough, and then you clear off the secret stages within the event, then you will assess the last few secret stages that's within the middle. And this will also unlock new daily missions for this particular faction, which is the Armourless Union. So now that I've explained all of these stuff, you guys can perfectly understand how you're supposed to play this event. If you guys still have questions as to what you're supposed to do, please ask down in the comments below, although I think I tried my utmost best to explain this as clearly as possible. Alright, hope you guys are having fun with Near Light, and if not, I shall see you guys in yet another video of mine. Alright, bye everyone!